The reality is, if you walk around Hong Kong and you ask any average person about refugees, um, all they will know about um, or, or have in their minds would be what happened um, back in the 80s with Vietnamese refugees. And probably all of them will not be aware that there are any refugees in Hong Kong at the moment at all. Um, and if you ask them about Vietnamese refugees, um, they will basically perceive them as a pain. Um, because of the social chaos they have caused in Hong Kong, of all the criminal um, records that many of them have, um, how there, there were lots of arsons and so on, and it was just a mess to most um, Hong Kong people. So if you basically raise these issues now, I mean, that my fellow panelists have raised, they would be completely shocked. And, and it's just so far from their minds to perceive that there are refugees in Hong Kong and the fact that they're actually facing all of these difficulties. So really, the average Hong Kong person will be thinking is if there are any asylum seekers in Hong Kong, they should get out of here because they're economic migrants anyways. Um, and what I want to say is actually, many for, for, for that comment, it may not be too far from the truth. <laughs> there are, um, at present, thousands of asylum seekers in Hong Kong. And even my fellow, fellow panelists may agree with me that um, a, a large majority of this number are actually economic migrants. Um, the number of asylum seekers in Hong Kong have risen dramatically over, or probably um, particularly since 2006. Um, and, and I'll explain a little bit of what I believe is the reason for the dramatic increase of economic migrants. 